Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about India's natural vegetation in this video. Our country India has large variety of natural vegetation. This is due to precipitation, soil, climatic conditions and physical features. The natural vegetation of India can be divided into five types. They are tropical evergreen forest which is also known as tropical rain forest tropical deciduous forest desert vegetation mountain vegetation and mangrove vegetation let's begin with tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest are commonly known as tropical rain forest these forests are found in the areas which receives heavy rainfall that is more than 200 cm annual rainfall now the question arises how do we measure rainfall rainfall of an area is measured by collecting rainfall water in a special vessel the height of water collected in centimeters which indicates the amount of rainfall of a particular area in general rainfall decreases from east to west in india thus the north eastern states of meghalaya is one of the wettest area in the world whereas the north western side of india is the thar desert tropical rain forests are very dense that sunlight does not reach the ground surface they have different types of trees who shed their leaves at different times of the year therefore these forests always appear green and are known as evergreen forests these forests are found in andaman and nicobar islands along the slopes of western ghats and parts of north eastern states of assam west bengal and odisha these areas experience hot and humid climate with short dry season the important trees of these forests are rosewood ebony mahogany bamboo and cinchona Now let's discuss about tropical deciduous forests. Tropical deciduous forests are also known as monsoon forests. They are the most widespread forest or more common forest in India. They are less dense and shed their leaves at a specific time of the year. That is in the beginning of summer in India. They are found in areas where the average annual rainfall is between 100 to 200 cm. The areas where they are found are most of the Ganga plains, the Shivalik range, the eastern slopes of the western ghats, some parts of Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. The important trees of these forests are teak, sal, sandalwood, palash, bamboo, peepal, neem, shisham, mahua and semul in the wetter parts of the Deccan plateau and the northern plains right up to the foot hills of Himalayas. Bamboo trees are also grown in these areas. vast areas have been cleared up to provide land for cultivation viewers now let's discuss about third type of vegetation that is desert vegetation desert vegetation is also known as thorn forests these are found in arid regions that is where we have low rainfall that it means the rainfall is less than 50 cm the states where we find desert vegetation or thorn forests are gujarat 
राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश डेकन प्लेट्यू रीजन्स एंड हरियाणा हेयर इन दिस रीजन द ट्रीज आर स्पार्स विद बुशेज एंड श्रब्स इन सम प्लांट्स लीव्स आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्पाइंस टू एवॉइड लॉस ऑफ वाटर मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लांट्स हैव डीप रूट्स विच हैव थिक बाग वैक्सी लीव्स एंड लॉन्ग नीडल्स लाइक थॉन्स द मेन ट्रीज ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन आर अकेशा कैक्टस बबूल कीकर एंड खेर Now it's time for mountain vegetation. Mountain vegetation is also known as mountain forest. The vegetation in the mountains differ with variation in height. You are very much familiar that the temperature decreases with increase in height or altitude. At the height of 1500 to 2500 meters trees are conical in shape and are known as coniferous forests which have coniferous trees which are conical in shape cedar pine silver fir deodar oak chestnut cedar and spruce but at the height of about 3000 meter and above the trees are always covered with snow there we mostly find alpine meadows which consist of shrubs and grasses trees are not found at this height now it's time for mangrove forest these are the forests which are found in places which are flooded by high tides of the sea thus these forests are commonly known as tidal forests the vegetation of these forests can survive in saline water that is salty water as well as in fresh water such vegetation is found almost all along the eastern coast especially in the large deltas formed by the rivers like ganga mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri the most extensive tidal forest is in ganga brahmaputra delta this forest there is known as sundarbans due to the presence of sundari trees these trees provide hard oily and durable wood and are used to make boats these forests are found in andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep so viewers i hope indian vegetation all types of five vegetation are very much clear to you thanks for watching the complete video keep on sharing the knowledge god bless you all